Now it's time for Lefties Losing It. Joining me for everyone's favorite segment is a man who needs no introduction, Sky News host, Caleb Bond. You know, Caleb, if you sprayed your hair white, you'd make a great Santa. Uh, are you calling me fat? I mean, Santa's a fat... <laughs> Excuse me! To do with I his come on the show and you insult me within 30 <laughs> seconds. Unbelievable. Simply an observation. Look, it is that magical time of the year. So naturally, the climate cold have turned their attention to attacking Christmas trees. Because their religion sucks, they get jealous of Christians and Catholics around this time of year. It makes perfect sense, really. So in Germany, they've been targeting trees all over the shop. Take a look. Caleb, why don't these people do something actually useful, like plant trees or pick up litter or, I don't know, clean the ocean? Uh, oh, well, I suppose if you're that miserable, you'd want to attack all the nice things like Christmas, <laughs> wouldn't you? I mean, look, if you drill down into what these people actually believe in, all of these climate activists, it's not just about climate. Uh, they want to revolutionise the entire world. It's Marxism at its core. So all the symbols of what makes the West great and the things that we enjoy, such as Christmas, become a target of them. I mean, uh, what did we see earlier in the year? They targeted the uh, the wedding of a British politician. On and mm. on this stuff goes. They're targeting major sporting events like Wimbledon and the Ashes. You know, they go after things that symbolise what we love in the West. I mean, how miserable do you have to be Go and have a nice Christmas roast and a glass of red or maybe a glass of white wine here in Australia where it's a bit warmer. Just calm down and enjoy yourself, for heaven's sake. Well, I can't imagine they're endearing anyone to their cause, especially with the... Well, they love targeting major artworks, don't they? Oh, the classics. Right, yes. It's always the classics. <laughs> it's never that uh, horrible modern stuff with a line through it or something that your three-year-old could have done. They're always trying to trash the classics. Well, if they did it, to, to one of those sort of abstract pieces, it'd look no different. There'd be no particular point to doing it, would there? It's so true. And in more of the lefty Christmas spirit, Boston Mayor Wu has apologised for her Blacks-only Christmas party invitation. Check this out. This was emailed from her office, and just 15 minutes later, she sent another email apologising not apologising to Rosa Parks for her segregated party. Oh, no. She apologised for accidentally inviting some white people. Her second email read, I wanted to apologise for my previous email regarding a holiday party for tomorrow. I did send that to everyone by accident. And I apologise if my email may have offended or come across as so. Sorry for any confusion this may have caused. This is just unbelievable stuff. And yet here is Mayor Wu backing herself in. I think we've we've had individual conversations with everyone so people understand that it was truly just a, an honest mistake that went out in, in typing the email field and um, I look forward to celebrating with everyone at the holiday parties that we will have besides this one as well. So um, it is my intention that we can again um, be a city that lives our values and create space for all kinds of communities to come together. A space for all kinds of communities to come together. <laughs> Clearly not Mayor Wu. Caleb, can you imagine the response if someone tried to hold a whites-only event? It'd be the last thing they ever did. Well, it mightn't be the last thing they ever did because then they'd have to go off to the gulag and there's plenty of things they'd have to do in there. I mean, it is extraordinary that you would even think to have an event specifically only for elected members who uh, are of colour, as she puts it. I mean, you know, I don't know. We, you have to do all these modules. Anyone who works in an office 
would know, you know, the bosses send you all these bloody modules you've got to do about harassment and sexual harassment and bullying and all this stuff. And they make it very clear that anything that you do that excludes another person is a form of bullying. So surely this is a form of racial bullying. As you say, it wouldn't cut the other way. You'd be out of a job if it happened the other way. But this is the absurdity of it all. Because if there are enough council members of colour to make up a Christmas party, then clearly they don't have any problem with racism on that council in terms <laughs> of getting people elected, do they? Indeed. It seems racism only goes one way. Quickly back home now, where Stonington Council in Victoria has cancelled the word Christmas, instead decorating their wealthy suburbs with nonsensical signs that read, Make Merry because they want to be inclusive. Who exactly is Christmas excluding? If you want to celebrate, celebrate. If you don't, don't participate. Like me, every Ramadan. Here's three AWs, Mark Allen, taking aim at these Stonington flogs. If there's anybody out there from Stonington, please call in and tell me What's offensive about the word Christmas? I haven't seen a protest. Please, someone tell me what's offensive about the we word Christmas. Everything. These people are nutcases. You are Honestly, angry. You are they're angry. They're off their heads. You've gone ham on this. They're off their heads, these people. But talkie ham, you've gone. Bring Christmas back. I'm with you. We're basically being told, let's cancel Christmas so we don't offend minorities, but it's okay to offend the majority and just call it inclusivity. That's fine. Well, the only people they're trying not to offend ultimately are the white people who have a problem with Christmas themselves. I mean, you'd be hard-pressed to find any migrant in this country who actually has a problem with Christmas. Indeed. No one is offended by Christmas except the lefties who get offended on behalf of others. Caleb Bond, thank you so much for your time today.